I love walking through the California redwood forest on the weekends. The air is fresh and clean and full of oxygen. And I also hug some trees. Unfortunately, last year this particular redwood forest was on fire due to lightning strikes and is now closed. I thought, how can my companies and industries work save our forests? I work in a space division at Lockheed Martin that creates technologies that help improve life on Earth. My company partners with NASA to create satellites for Earth, weather, and climate monitoring. Space technology is not just for sending people off the planet, but also for helping to protect our forest and people on our planet. Recently, satellites have revealed that forests increase cloud cover, cool our climate, and generate rainfall. Science and data are providing us the knowledge we need to make better decisions to protect our Earth. NASA researchers have created a model that analyzes various weather conditions, including rainfall, temperature, humidity, and wind speeds to predict the formation and spread of fires. NASA satellites can also track wildfires to aid firefighters. The U.S. Forest Service uses satellites to inform decisions on where to stage firefighters, tankers, aircraft across the country. Satellites frequently detect fires before they are spotted on the ground, often 10 to 15 minutes before emergency notifications to 911. This is critical to protect lives, forest, and property. Scientists have created maps and other data products to track fires and smoke plumes and make predictions about which parts may be affected next by fires, including where landslides and mudslides could occur. Over 99% of accurate weather forecasts come from space. Satellites also capture and track cyclones and hurricanes, and four are shown in this photo. Satellite imagery helps farmers cut water use in half. Tool, a startup tracks transpiration, which is exhalation of water vapor by plants and trees. Satellites are also helping to reduce deforestation across Africa. When there is a drop in forest cover, automated warnings send high-resolution satellite data and alert messages to those in local governments. As a result, deforestation decreased significantly in 22 African countries by 18% in two years. The carbon emissions avoided with this reduction save between $149 and $696 million in economic damages. Solar voltaic power, which was first used by NASA on projects like the International Space Station, has led to massive improvements in solar energy performance, which help us today. NASA has a great app that tracks live Earth data. The EarthNow satellite app tracks temperature, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sea level, soil moisture, ozone, and water vapor. The web address is climate.nasa.gov earthnow. Space technologies also have a huge role in developing policy recommendations. Satellites and their data facilitate informed decision-making. The United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs works to promote international cooperation in the peaceful use and exploration of space. The exciting thing is that this space data isn't only available to me or rocket scientists. School children, teachers, companies, technologists, Policymakers and people all around the world can use this space technology data today to come up with solutions to help improve life on Earth. I am hopeful that you can join me on the journey to help utilize these technologies 
data and insights to benefit all the wonderful living things on our planet for many centuries to come so we can continue to walk through, enjoy, and breathe the fresh air from our magnificent trees and forest. And of course, hug some trees too.